Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa and today I'm going to be showing you the books I plan on reading in January and February. I know this video is a little late. Actually it's a lot late. There is a reason for that and that reason is pure laziness. Anyways, The Lovely Bones by Alice Sebold or Seabold or like that. This is a reread for me. It's one of my all time favorite novels. My name was Salmon, like the fish. First name, Susie. I was 14 when I was murdered on December 6, 1973. So begins the story of Susie Salmon, who is adjusting to her new home in heaven, a place that is not at all what she expected, even as she was watching Fun Earth continue without her. Her friends trading rumors about her disappearance, her killer trying to cover his tracks, her grief-stricken family unraveling. Out of unspeakable tragedy and loss, the lovely bone succeeds, miraculously. I'm building a tale filled with hope, humor, suspense, even joy. Going Underground by Susan Bott. I have tried to read this novel twice already and didn't get very far, but this time for sure. I have actually gotten farther than I have before. This time for sure, I will finish it. Witchcraft by Anastasia Grey Wolf. Not really much to this. The List by Siobhan Bibian. In this story, a list is created in a high school from each class. In each class, a girl is picked to be the prettiest and the ugliest. And these girls are trying to deal with it. Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. This is super, super, super popular, so I won't go too much into it. Kill Baxter by Charlie Human. This is, I believe, the second book in a series. Um... It's about a boy who saved the world from an evil scientist who was also fine controlling him into believing he was a serial killer. Um, it wouldn't be the first time I've read a second book or even third book first. Shadow and Bone by Leah Bardugo. I have tried and tried and tried to finish this novel, but I can never get very far. But hopefully this time, I will get farther than I ever have before. The Dinner by Herman Koch. This is about two families whose sons were friends and they did something uns and they did something bad. Um this is a family's meeting for dinner and trying to sort it out. Beautiful by Amy Reed. This paper is a list of the, that paper was just a list of the reaction and some behavior of a cat who was recently spayed. Anyways, this is about a girl who, when Cassie moves from the tiny town where she has always lived to a suburb of Seattle, she is determined to leave her boring, good girl existence behind. This is Cassie's chance to stop being invisible and to become the kind of girl who is worth noticing. Stepping into her new identity turns out to be easier than Cassie could have ever imagined. One moment. One choice changes everything. Cassie is trapped in a swift downward spiral tinged with violence and abuse. And no one, 
not even the one person th she thought she could trust can help her now. Practical Magic by Amy Koff, Alice. Alice Hoffman. Anyways, this is another super popular book, and it was actually made into a movie. So I won't go too much into it, but basically, the Owen sisters confront the challenges of life and love in this bewitching novel from the New York Times best-selling author Alice Hoffman. For more than 200 years, the Owens women have been blamed for everything that has gone wrong in their Massachusetts town. Jillian and Sally have endured that fate as well. As children, the sisters were forever outsiders. Taunted, talked about, pointed at. Their elderly aunts almost seemed to encourage the whispers of witchery with their musty house and their exotic concoctions and the crowd of black cats. But all Jillian and Sally wanted to do was escape. Clean, which is another book by Amy Reed. This one is about some kids at a rehab center. Olivia, Kelly, Christopher, Jason, and Eva have one thing in common. They're addicts. Addicts who have hit rock bottom and been stuck together in rehab to face their problems, face sobriety, and face themselves. None of them wants to be there. None of them wants to confront the truths about their past. And they certainly don't want to share their darkest secrets and most desperate fears with the realm of strangers. But they'll all have to deal with themselves and one another if they want to learn how to live. Because when you get that high, there's nowhere to go but down, down, down. Truth. The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. This is Grady Hendrick's newest book. Hero. A book years ago called My Best Friend's Exorcism, which I also own. And this is basically the book from the adult's point of view. The Queen of Everything by Deb Coletti. This is another book that I used to own in my old house. But again, my cat peed on it. Just like she peed on every other book that I owned in that house. Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. I've tried to read this book once before, and I've been mean to read it, and mean to read it, and mean to read it. This time, for sure, I will get at least halfway through it. Ramona Blue. I started this book but never finished it. That seems to be a recurring theme with me. But this time, this time, this time. People Like Her by Ellery Lloyd. This book has not even come out yet. I won't tell you how I got it. But... It's about a mommy influencer, and she has an obsessive stalker. Anyways, that's the end of my TBR for January and February. I hope you enjoyed this little list. There were less cat interruptions this time. She's over there on her perch. Anyways... See you later. Bye.